Five ways to get rent to rent deals fast. Hello, my name is Mark Fitzgerald. It's great to have you joining me here. So what we're gonna to cover today is five ways that you can do rent to rent deals right here, right now, to help you build up and boost your property investment. So let's jump straight into this, shall we? So at number one, it's all about your marketing. You need to be setting yourself up as a business, but you need to make sure that you're putting yourself out there with some marketing material. So you need to have business cards. You need to potentially have a brochure, even if it's just like a postcard brochure, but equally to that, you wanna be looking at being able to send out letters, postcards, and things like that as well. So look at your marketing material, but make sure you don't make the same mistake that everybody else makes, and I see time and time again, that you're just marketing to the masses. You really wanna be speaking to the landlords that you're targeting. So if you're targeting for HMOs, houses of multiple occupation, you wanna be looking at the pain points that they very well may be having with those types of properties. Or if you're looking for more single lets and you wanna to market to landlords or pro property owners that potentially have a problem with their property, again, you need to be looking at the market, you need to be trying to speak their language. Your marketing shouldn't be all about you, it should be all about them and how you can help them, how you can solve their problems. If it's all about you, Nobody really cares, unfortunately. Nobody really cares about you, nobody cares about me. They only care about how we can help them, how we can help them solve their problems. So, you wanna have bullet points up there, you wanna say, you know, we, we can take away the hassle of uh, running or managing or owning a rental property. We can, you know, we can cover voids, we can get rid of the tenant hassle of having properties as well. You know, if you're doing serviced accommodation, of course, you can say that we can offer you, you know, higher rents than you would get on a buy to let. Your properties will be maintained to a good standard. A lot of the times where people live in buy to let properties, they will get a bit grubby, they will get a bit run down because people use these as their houses and maybe don't look after it as well as they should do in all cases. But if you're doing serviced accommodation, then you will be maintaining and managing that property to a very, very high standard. Why? To keep your clientele coming, to keep your customers happy. So they know that their assets being looked after as well. And that can be a massive selling point for any landlords out there. So make sure you've got good marketing material, you've got good professional looking business cards, use the premium thick paper, something that feels nice, that looks nice. You know, spend a little bit of money on it, but don't spend too much time on it. It doesn't have to be perfect when you're starting. You just need to make sure that you've got something to start with. Okay, next we're gonna go and we're gonna start talking to agents. So you wanna be talking to letting agents, obviously, but also don't overlook the estate agents, the agents that are selling properties. Because you don't know who you might find, who you can help, uh, and, and uh, situations that they're in. Some people might be selling the property just because they're fed up with it. Um, but if you could go in there, remove that hassle and make them money as well as yourself, then it's a good deal to have. But of course you wanna go in there and talk to letting agents. A lot of people out there now be telling you to go in there, you know, and, and the, the, the favorite term by everybody is corporate lets. You know, are, are you open to corporate lets and all of this? If you do that, you're just gonna sound like everybody else uh, and they're gonna shut the door in a lot of cases. Now, sometimes you may see an advert or they may say to you, yeah, this landlord's open for a corporate let, which case, fine, no problems there, but you don't wanna be going in saying rent to rent, you don't really wanna be going in there saying corporate lets. Yes, that is fundamentally what we do, but that is what everybody is saying. So when you go in there, you want to talk about the properties. I always say this in all of my other videos and episodes, you wanna be um, making sure that they feel comfortable and they're trying to sell you products. You know, you're going in there wanting to take these properties on, they want to you know, sell these properties, their product for uh, their landlords and their clientele. So you wanna go in there and make sure that they are trying to sell to you because that way it'll work more in your favor because they'll feel comfortable, they'll feel like they're doing their job and they're getting their wins. And of course you can then win yourself by taking the properties on. I always like to go into uh, any agency or ring any agency up and have a property that's on their books. Maybe I've seen it on their website. Maybe I've seen it on one of the online portals. Uh, something that I can break the ice with that I can start talking to people about. And it really is a case for me of saying, you know, we've got clientele in the area. We're looking for accommodations like these to be able to take these on. Um, you know, in most cases, we, we will look after all the minor maintenance and everything like that. We, of course, will liaise with you guys. 
um, and, and we can offer a, a, the landlord a guaranteed rent, you know, because uh, this is what we're looking for. This is how we operate. You can go into, don't go into too much detail, but go into a little bit and just say, is that something you think you'd be open to or something that we'd be interested? And if you can make it a win-win for everybody, they're going to be more inclined to want to work with you, aren't they? So that can really, really help you. And that leads us on to number three, which is obviously getting on the online portals. So, you know, your right moves, your Zooplas, your spare rooms, your free ads, your gum trees, uh, your on the markets, getting on there, seeing what's on there, uh, finding the addresses if you can as well. Because so a lot of people say to me, well, HMOs are great because you'll send your marketing letters to the HMO register, but what about serviced accommodation? Well, serviced accommodation, it's quite easy to see uh, properties that are advertised and then work out via the pictures, via a bit of Google Maps, street, street Viewer and everything, how you can get the addresses of these properties. And then of course, if you want to, and I wouldn't do this for everything because it could get expensive after time, but you pay three pounds, you can find out who owns the property by land registry. So you can go on the land registry, put the property details in, and you can get uh, the owner's details from that. You can send them a letter then just to say, I see your property is for rent. It would fit our criteria perfectly. Would you be interested in just having a five minute chat with us? Simple and easy, sell the sizzle, not the steak. And what I mean by that is don't tell them everything and the word go, try and get a phone call, try and get a meeting, you know, try and entice them to be thinking to themselves, I need to speak to this person rather than, well, they've just told me everything there. I am interested, but I don't really have any questions because they've given me so much information. You wanna have less is more, tantalizing, you know, headlines, and this is what we do, but you need to speak to us because obviously, we can almost you know, have, have a product that's bespoken to your needs so that we can make it a good win for everybody. Okay, I hope that makes sense, but make sure you're getting on the online portals. Be very, very careful uh, that you don't get banned on any of these portals as well um, you know, by spamming people and things. Make sure you're messaging people with the right uh, intentions and with the right, obviously, content as well. But keep it short, keep it brief, and try and get them onto a phone call or something and just see if you can help them. And that's all we're trying to do. These people are trying to rent out their properties. We're trying to rent their properties from them. So in effect, we are trying to be their customer. So if anybody gets a little shirty about it, you could say, all I'm trying to do is rent your property from you or manage your property on your behalf, okay? We don't, we're not, you know, saying that we're gonna be out there, you know, doing AST contracts with landlords because that's not what we do. We use the relevant contracts, which are management agreements, lease agreements, um, and of course, depending on the deal that you're doing, you will use the right contract for that, okay? Also, at number four, you've gotta be getting out there. You've gotta be networking. You know, network at property networking events, network at business events, and just get out there as well. Shake hands with people, meet people, go and do viewings, get to know people, build up to know, like, and trust. And when I say network, everybody thinks networking events. I'm on about just networking in general. Make sure everybody knows in your family or your friends, everybody knows that you are a property professional, that you can help people with properties, and you'd be surprised how many family members will say, oh, so-and-so's got a, a property in there. They're struggling to let it. Do you think you could help them? Yep, let me go and speak to them. All of a sudden, you've got almost warm leads because they can, of course, uh, refer you. Uh, and it can be massive. You can really scale a business very, very quickly by doing that. So make sure you're not afraid to just tell everybody what you're doing and be proud about it and get out there, shake hands, network with people and try and help them first, i.e. if they've got a problem, maybe you can point them in the right direction before you're just hammering on to try and sell your services and do a rent to rent deal with them. People are more inclined to work with people who have helped them in the past, who have already had a conversation with them and done something nice for them. So just go out there and do something nice. And on top of that, the fifth one really is get on the online portal, so on the social medias, get in the groups, you know, landlord groups, rent to rent groups, all of those sorts of things, and constantly be posting, okay? Be posting good, valuable, helpful content, answering questions if you know the answers, and maybe you're in some landlord groups, uh, in your area and that they've got a few issues but you know the answers to those or you can find out the answers to those just post responses without trying to sell to them oh we can help you with that or you know we we um we solved that problem ourselves in our business this is what we did somebody's going to say thank you very much and then if they see that you're a property manager they're going to be more inclined to reach out to you to say oh you helped me out there and i really appreciate that i've got a property at the moment would you be interested in having a look building up the rapport everybody wants to have a win in like five seconds flat 
But I'll tell you what, if you actually start doing this process, you, you spend 30 minutes to 60 minutes a day if you can on the online portals, not wasting your time scrolling through endless videos, but actually going on there and trying to deliver help and advice to people that you can help uh, and advise, then you're gonna really put yourself a cut amongst the rest of everybody else. And of course, that will start to get you noticed, that will start to get you traction. So look for sort of groups, landlord groups and things that are in your area, it's very easy to do. Just go into, even on Facebook, your area, uh, landlord groups, start joining those groups. Don't start spamming those, but just start looking at questions people have had and if you have any answers for them, just start answering questions and start to become a person in that group that adds value. That adds value because then the odd post to say, we are looking for landlords in this area, we can help you. All of a sudden people will take notice. They'll be like, I've seen that person before. They've answered one of my questions. They've helped me out. Now they've got a post on there and I am actually interested in that. So I'm gonna reach out to them because I like them already. They've helped me without having, you know, they've helped me without wanting anything from me. And a lot of people then are very open to give back and help you. If you need any help with rent to rent, visit thepropertyunleashed.com. We have free guides. I have an ebook there that can help you. We have serviced accommodation ebook as well if you're interested in that. We have a free deal analyzing spreadsheet as well, and we have a free masterclass training, and we're adding to this all the time. If you want to get started in rent to rent and you really want to build and scale a successful business, we have the Rent to Rent Business Builder. Uh, that's predominantly for HMOs. If you're interested in serviced accommodation, we have the Ultimate Serviced Accommodation Business Builder as well. What I would say to you now, is if you've enjoyed this feel free to subscribe and all of that good stuff but equally to that watch the next video and i will see you there you take care and bye for now